Reflection formula for closing function. So till now we have just looked at definition, some properties, and also some other integral representation, derivative representation, which is the stuff for closing function. Yeah. And if you have not gone through this video, just let me remind once again that closing function uh, has a base and an argument, and it is defined uh, with two cases. Yeah, one case where m is even. And other issues when m is odd, m is odd. When m is even, it is defined as the sum from um, t equals to 1 to infinity of sine theta, sine of k theta, sorry, by k to the power m. When m is odd, it is defined as sum from k to 1 to infinity of cos of k theta by k to the power m. This is the definition of the closing function uh, for this m of theta. Yeah, when m is even is defined in this way, when m is all is defined as the inverse series of the cross function by k to the power m. Okay, now, so also to this make it one to the power m is because there are different uh, results for different values, uh, either m is or even. So uh, that that's what it is. It's causing the formula very slightly. We should have. But yeah, we will deal with we will deal with case by case, and we will see that how to work can be. Now let us to make two columns for m even and for m odd. Yeah. Now in both the case, our aim would be to find a find a formula for C L of m of theta minus C L m of pi minus theta, yeah. and this would be uh, result in our formula that we have in case. Now, CLM of theta when m is even, this is just sine, uh, yeah. When, uh, when m is even, we just find this place and so this sum from t equals to 1 to infinity of sine of k theta by k to the power m minus, now, so pi minus theta, sum from t equals to 1 to infinity. Of sine of inverse k, so that will just be k pi minus k theta. k pi minus k theta by k to the power n. Hmm. Now this is sum from k equals to 1 to infinity of sine of k theta by k to the power m minus okay now over here if it's pi minus theta then we know that's positive it's 2 pi minus theta that's negative yes no no again wait 2 pi minus yes 2 pi minus theta if we have sine of pi minus theta that will be in second quantum and that will be positive if it's 2 pi minus theta that will be negative Again, so 3 pi minus theta that's positive. Yeah, so we can see that for value uh, for k as 1, it's positive, for 2, it's negative. So, what do we need to do is sum from k equals to 1 to infinity, you can put it as minus 1 to the power, minus 1 to the power, uh, okay, minus 1 to the power for k is 1, uh, it's Positive, so k plus 1. Minus 1 to the power k plus 1 by and then and then I'll sign up k theta. You get this by k to the power m. So what happened is so uh, let's say let's say suppose we can suppose the kisha as an x kind of thing. And so we saw that whenever the k was odd numbers, it was positive. So for k has odd numbers, if we on even number, so this will be positive. So that was what we did. Now, now, mm, yeah, this will just be plus sine theta. And this will just be minus sine theta. So that was what I did. Yeah. Mm. Now next is we have over here sum from k equals to one to infinity sine of k theta by 
k to the power m. And now minus 1 to the power k plus 1 and minus sign, and that will again be minus 1 to the power k plus 2. So you can write it as minus 1 to the power k because k and k plus 2 have same parity. Yes. We come from k equals 1 to infinity sine of k theta by k to the power m. Now you can see that both of them are actually the same. Yes. Now, for k equals to 1, for k equals to 1, this is the odd, so they will cancel each other out. For k equals to 2, this is even, they will just be area. For k equals to 3, again, they will cancel each other out. So you can see that uh, only for even numbers, only for even numbers, that is when, only for two k's, I mean, so what you can do is, sign of, only for two k's, this exists. To get to the power so whenever this exists, there will be two expressions, so we need to multiply this by two. Yes, and now this is two by two to the power m sum from k equals to one to infinity of sine of two uh, k times by k times two theta sine of k times two theta by k to the power m. That's why we can say that this is 2 to the power 1 minus m and then Gaussian function this m of 2 theta. To get this, yes. So what we have done is just uh, find the values of sin theta, theta minus theta and then add them up according to how they cancel or did not cancel. Now in a similar manner, we can also do when n is odd. We can do this in a similar manner. Just that now we will have comp of from k equals to 1 to infinity of cos k theta by k to the power m minus sum from k equals to 1 to infinity of cos of k pi minus k theta by, by k to the power m. So good. Now, if it's cos, if it's k pi minus k theta, over there it's negative. But in the other one, it's positive. So it, it's over here, it's mentioned by k plus 1, but here, over here, it's just mentioned by the power k. It's slightly different. Please, please make note of that. Now, k equals to 1 to infinity. Now, this will be uh, cos of k theta by k to the power m. Yes. Now over here, it will just mention the power k and including this minus sign, this will be plus of minus 1 to the power k plus 1. <coughs> yes. And sum from k equals to 1 to infinity cos of k theta by k to the power n. Now guys, Please notice that over here, it should be to the condition to be just like the, how the previous one works. Yeah, just so that the even terms remain or terms cancel out. Okay, we can notice that for m being odd, we actually need a plus sign over here because if only if there's plus sign, the minus one to the power k plus one, the minus one to the power k that comes from this expression will be retained. So, yeah, when we get plus sign over there, it's slightly different. The formulas, the set formulas are different for m being all even in order. Because only if this is plus, now the minus to the power k that comes from the cosine expression will be as it is. If it is a minus sign over here, we will have plus plus one over here, and that will create a problem. Now, if we have this, now if we have this, now there won't be any problem. We will have cos of k equals to 1 to infinity, similarly. Now, the odd cancels out, even down to the gear, cos of 2k theta by 2k to the power m overall it will be multiplied by 2. Now it's somehow similar 2 by 2 to the power m sum from k equals to 1 to infinity cos of k times 2 theta by k to the power m. Now this is 2 to the power 1 minus m and this one over here this is just uh, CL M of 
2 theta because over here it's n is odd so this is the definition for CL and system over here it was n is even so this is you have definition now we are getting the same expression but just please notice that a deflection formula involving m as odd has plus n over here it has minus n over here yes so to make sure that these hold true a formula a different formula will go like this general formula first of all we will have cl m of theta yes and we know for m being even we need a minus n over here for m being all we need a plus n over here so to make sure of that we can add minus one to the power m plus one because only if there is m plus one for even m plus one will be odd and minus one will be retained for odd this will be for odd this will be even and zero will be plus n and over here clm of pi minus theta now this expression we see that in both the cases it's just to the power one minus m times clm of two theta do you get that now up to this uh, it's written in a slightly different way because uh, it's just mentioned by m over here so what is actually done is we have the broken down the mentioned by m plus one into minus one and mentioned by m so this can be done as minus minus one to the power m of clm pi minus theta this will be 2 to the power 1 minus m to the power m minus m of clm of 2 theta now there is also a slight other modification as well because over here 2 to the power m minus 1 1 minus m taken to the other side and made m minus 1 so let's do that as well so in the actual expression that we wrote in the beginning this is taken to the other side so it becomes 2 to the power m minus 1 and then we have clm of theta yes minus minus 1 to the power m of cl this m of pi minus theta now this was our expression that we got in the beginning to prove now for m equals to 2 you can easily do it yourself the substitute m is 2 cl2 of theta will be 2 to the power 2 minus 1 that's plus 2 and then cl m of theta and this is just 1 minus cl okay i'll place 2 over here 2 over here cl2 of pi minus theta now this is the answer that we were looking for yeah we have finally got it and we have derived the formula okay now now i just i just realized that over here, I, I have actually, I still have to put two over here. So this will change to the two. This will change to CL two theta. This will change CL two pi minus theta. Excuse me for those errors, slight errors, but yeah, this is it. Now just to recap, we use the definitions and try to find out CL m theta minus CL m pi pi minus theta. We use the properties of trigonometry, and then in both the cases, we easily got the expression that we wanted. And at last, we put m equals to 2 and got it for, got the expression for cos and integral function. So, that was it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you in the upcoming videos.